Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 353 fifth wheel den. This is a great coach. I love the floor plan, very unique. But let's go ahead and start on some of the outside features. We'll make our way around and then head on in. One of the first things you'll notice on the Sprinter is this right here, which is your fiberglass front cap. You can see where they have the blue LED lights inlaid right there. It gives it a really neat look. As you make your way down here, you can see the mirror, which of course helps, uh, helps you back up. That way you can ensure that your hitch is lined up with the kingpin. Uh, another cool thing about this front cap, you will notice how this is cut back. That's part of the Sprinter Max Turn technology, which allows a tighter turning radius. So that way as you're making those sharp cuts, it'll make sure that you won't blow out the back window in your truck. Let's go ahead and take a look right underneath here. A couple of cool uh, quick features. We'll open this up for you. So if you take a look at the front storage compartment, you will see how it's nice and open here. Now currently I do have a battery pack in there hooked up to the battery, but normally your battery, battery will be right over here. Battery disconnect behind that as well, so you can quickly kill power. Right underneath is your spare tire, so hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, you know right where it is and it is easy to access. Then over here, this is for your lights up front. This is pretty cool too. This is a Furion Solar, so if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the panels, plug it right into here and that will trickle charge your battery. So that's nice and convenient too, again, if you want that extra trickle charge. So you make our way around to the side here, I'll open this up for you. Hey look, there's nothing in there. The reason for that, on the other side, you have two 30 pound propane tanks. This side, they give you a space for a third. So if you do want that extra bottle, if you're going on a long trip, you have a nice storage space right here. So you can actually pack 90 pounds of propane, which is awesome. Then right next door to that, you can take a look right up here. You'll see the nice covered hinge. They don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. This is a slam latch baggage door, which is great. Works very well, nice and easy. And you'll also see right here you have a magnet. So you can just go ahead and put it right up like that. You don't have to worry about latches or anything busting out on you. And if you look at the pass-through, it is a nice open pass-through here. And then if you see up top, that is an indoor-outdoor table. So that's really cool too. No matter where you go, you have a table with you. But if you don't have a picnic table at the site, now you do. Or if you need an extra, you can do that. You know, put some food on there, a buffet, whatever you want. But you definitely do have that option. So I love that uh, it tucks away right up there for you. Then right out here is a couple of electrical outlets. So again, if you need to plug anything in, you can certainly do that there. Let's take a look up top real quick. You have a huge power awning on this coach. One of the big advantages of not having uh, a door side slide up front here is that you have all this awning coverage. All this is a great campsite. You know, you don't have any vents on this side either, so you can set up all the chairs all the way around here. Have huge awning coverage. That power awning, one touch of a button comes right out. Same thing to go back in. If you look in the heads of, that, uh, of the awning, you will notice little speakers in both heads. That's cool too, because when it's fully extended, this music will play down on top of you instead of blasting out at your neighbor. And also underneath that awning is an LED light strip. So if you want lights at night, you can just flip that on. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting up there and stringing up some lights. So it is nice and easy. Getting into the coach is also very simple. You'll see three aluminum steps, which are great. Uh, nice upgrade over your standard steps because they're not gonna rust out on you. Also, they have these rubber strips here, which will help you get grip if they're wet, especially in conjunction with the easy grab handle. It ensures from the first step all the way into the coach that you have a controlled entry. Another uh, cool thing about this, talking about going into the coach, this is what they call a friction hinge door. Uh, it's also known as a stay put door because wherever you put it, that's where it stays. Really cool. Uh, it can withstand uh, winds of up to 20 miles an hour. The other neat thing about it is, is, as you can see, it folds all the way back, but you don't have to worry about a clip here. Just like you don't want to worry about a clip on your baggage door so you can easily drop it down, you also don't want to have to worry about a clip here because you don't want to go to close the door and rip it out of the wall. In a strut, you know, that makes it stick out at 90 degrees. Degrees. So friction hinge is definitely an upgrade for the door. Another thing I like to talk about when I talk about sprinters is this right here, this little badge of honor. This says performance at zero degrees, performance at 100. Sprinter is one of the few manufacturers that have actually gone through the uh, temperature testing. They put it in an isolated chamber and then they go ahead and test them. A lot of manufacturers claim that you know they have four season capability but nothing gets tested. Sprinter has, it, test, it was tested, it passed. So you know if you're in those colder climates, you don't have any issues. If you take a look right down here, you will see the aluminum rim 
stems have a really nice look on them. Uh, and then on the side of those, you have a little yellow plate. That's the correct track alignment system. What that does for you is it's actually been shown over time that your axles can become misaligned, giving you all sorts of issues. And normally, that's a pretty tough process uh, to correct it. You essentially have to cut the axles, re-weld them, and it's a big pain. However, with the correct track alignment system, you can just make a couple of adjustments and tweaks when you bring it into the shop, and then we can get them lined right back up for you. Very cool. Right behind this tire, you will see the ground control 3.0. That is an auto level system. It's a four point, just touch of a button, the coach will go ahead and level itself out, uh, which is really neat. So you just touch a button, walk away, lets you set up camp easier, which is exactly what you want. Also, when you're done camping, you can hit the button again. The coach will move to where you dropped it off at. That way, you can just back your pickup right in, hook up and go. So definitely, again, trying to make things simple for you. Uh, a couple other features on the back side, you do have a rear mounted ladder, so that way if you want to climb up onto the roof, it is nice and easy to do so, and you don't have to fill up your entire pass through with a ladder. But that'll wrap it up for the outside. I know you're excited to see the inside, so let's head on in. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 353 fifth wheel den. Let's go ahead and start off on the table. I love this table. It's one of the largest tables I've seen in a fifth wheel. You can see how much space you have here, bench seat along the wall, and you have three three high chairs right over here. So, you know, this is great. It allows for excellent entertainment value. If you're having a lot of guests over, you can seat six people here easily, be able to eat, play games, whatever it is. You have this beautiful uh, rock uh, look, this rock style here. I think it's just really cool. Also, you have a bar right up along here. And take a look at that window. Huge picture window there, letting in a ton of natural light during the day. You have the overhead directional lights here at at night but I just love this setup again I think it's very unique and very neat now if we look right over here this of course is going to be our main prep surface you have great uh, countertop space here also they give you a sink top cover so you can use this for prep as well now you can always flip this over and use it as a cutting board too American stone cast sink in there. That is actually an upgrade over stainless steel. It's not gonna scratch nearly as easily. Easier to keep clean. It's not gonna fade on you. And you don't have to worry about it burning. If you do have hot pans, a lot of times when people see, you know, like a, a different style sink other than stainless, they're afraid it's gonna burn. Not the case here. It can withstand temps of up to 500 degrees. So no issues there. Also, you have the stainless steel high rise faucet here. That is a pull out faucet. Make it nice and easy to do dishes. Now, not only do you have big counter top space but you'll notice you also have two plug-ins there so if you want to put a coffee maker over here or a blender toast whatever it may be you can certainly do that as well then up all the way around here you kind of have like a hutch style I like they did this you have in my opinion a great spice rack right here you have a light underneath open this up you can see good storage on the side there beautiful decorative glass and you have storage there too moving on we'll move right over here this, of course, your three burner at wood cooktop. Uh, if you take a look underneath, you will see uh, your oven, so you can do any kind of baking. I like Atwood, great flame control. You also have the high output burner there. And then again, great countertop space right over here and an additional plug-in. Now let's go ahead and start, uh, we'll look at the storage up top here, then we'll look at all of our storage down below. So you have a window, LED light here again, great storage right up top there. This is the microwave, stainless steel. There's the weight on it, 10,760 pounds. And again, you have the stainless hood with a light and a fan. Now let's go back over here. If we shoot underneath, take a look at this. This is really nice. You have four full extension drawers going all the way down. Plenty of room here for your silverware, all of your larger utensils, and you have some storage there underneath the sink. Now if we look back over here, underneath the oven, open that up. You can see great uh, space there for pots and pans and additional storage there. So great space in the kitchen altogether. You have excellent storage storage there and you have a ton of prep space but we're not done take a look at this right here gorgeous stainless steel Samsung residential refrigerator we open that guy up you have a ton of space in here you have some crispers a little fresh box right there underneath this is your drawer style freezer look you have that and then this one up top uh, you know I mean it's just absolutely wonderful a ton of room in here 
And again, still not done. Moving over, if that wasn't quite enough storage for you, take a look at that pantry. Huge storage in there. I mean, absolutely massive compartments, which is great. So a lot of your larger items like uh, bags of chips, things like that, you can easily fit in. Now this is called a den. If you make your way back, this is the den area right here. So this has dual opposing slides really opening this space up. And on top of the dual opposing slides, this is a 100 inch wide unit. Most manufacturers are 96, Sprinter is four inches wider, which may not seem like a lot, but it does make a big difference in things like your hallways. And when you have dual opposing slides with dual opposing couches, it's also a huge deal because that allows for two tri-fold sofas. Most of the time you can't do that. One of these has to be jackknife, not the case here. If you're not familiar with the tri-fold sofa, this is by far the most comfortable sleeper sofa in the RV industry. You don't have the, you know, your standard mattress that's this thin like your traditional pullouts with the bar on your back. You don't have to worry about a deflated air mattress. You use the actual cushions from the couch itself. I mean, look how thick that is. That is going to be a good night's sleep for any guests that stay. And again, you have two of them so you can sleep two adults. Uh, per um, trifold sofa there so four people can stay the night here which is great. Now above the trifold sofas you have windows on both sides letting in a ton of natural light during the day, LED lights there for you at night. Then of course right here is our rear entertainment center. Uh, I love this as well. If you take a look up top you have this nice decorative glass, great storage up top there. Same thing on the other side as well and you have this central compartment here. Not only does it have an LED light in it but you also have an electrical outlet up there too. Then over to the side you can see great storage on the side perfect for your DVD collection and then uh, same thing right over here. Now this TV is a 55 inch TV which is huge so that way no matter if you're on the chairs the theater seating which I'll show you in a little bit you're able to view this and then right there is your sound bar for superior sound quality. As I mentioned that is Bluetooth capable so if you need to hook up another device to that you can certainly do so but I mean this is a massive TV which is great. The other thing I like about it is even if you're sitting at the table or preparing food you can still see that. Then below the TV is the fireplace. You have the nice rock surround on there and not only is this aesthetically pleasing it's also very functional. Uh, what you will notice is that this does run off electric and essentially it's a big space heater so if it is a little cold in here and you don't want to run the propane just kick this guy on it'll help take the chill off in your den. Then as we open this up you will see a little bit of storage right up here. Uh, this is actually pretty cool it does have an electrical outlet in there as well as a hole right here for components to run up and through so if you want to put a DVD player or something in there you can go ahead and put it in there and tuck it away. And then you have additional storage space right over here. Now the last part of this den, I showed you the dual opposing trifold sofas, but the best seat in the house is right here. This is of course your dual theater seating, extremely comfortable. Both of these do recline. You have your cup holders right there in the center. So you know if it's just two of you and you don't have any guests, this is definitely the place I would sit, as I mentioned, the best seat in the house. Last thing I want to talk about, if you take a look up at the ceiling, you will notice that right up here you have a max air fan, uh, so that's cool. If you just want to open up some windows, turn that guy on, you can get a nice breeze through here without running the AC. That does have a rain sensor on it as well. Then right here is an air conditioner. If you look up front, you can kind of see above the kitchen there, that's really cool too. That's a big skylight, so again, lets in a lot of natural light during the day. But that'll wrap it up for the downstairs area. Let's head on up the hall. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. As we make our way into the bathroom, right down here in the corner, you will see your foot flush lever toilet. This is a porcelain toilet, so it is nice and easy to clean the bowl as well. Then right over here is a very large linen closet. As you can see, a ton of space for towels, everything else you need in there. Then next to that is the one piece residential style shower. You see you have a seat that's molded in, some shelves there as well, a little uh, rack there, and you have shelves up top, hand wand, and if you notice you have a skylight up top. Not only does that let in a lot of natural light, but also gives you additional headroom. I'm about six foot and you can see you have plenty of space to go ahead and take a shower. Over to the side, you have mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Uh, vanity and sink top, you will notice that you have some good countertop space in here as well. Electrical outlet there of course, and you have storage underneath. 
All right, that'll wrap it up for the bathroom. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. As you step into the bedroom, you will notice that the queen bed is in a slide out, giving you full ability to walk around. Uh, also to the side, you'll see an electrical outlet. So if you need to charge a cell phone or plug in a CPAP machine, you can do that as well. And as we, I lift this up, you will notice this is strut supported. So it's nice and easy to get on in there and access anything you want to put under the bed. Up front is your wardrobe. You'll see you do have a rack right here as well as a hanging rod down below for anything that you wanna hang. Uh, mirrored doors on there as well. And then over to the side, you have extra storage here. Opening this up, you can see the storage there. Three large drawers. Now, if you do want washer and dryer in this coach, you will remove the drawers here. Your washer and dryer would essentially go in this space. But if you don't want washer and dryer, it definitely adds a lot for uh, clothes storage. At the foot of the bed here, yet again, decorative glass, some additional storage there. The chest of drawers right on the bottom here. And again, because this is 100 inches wide, this is another part where that extra four inches comes into play, gives you very usable drawers at the foot of the bed, and you still have enough space to easily walk through. If you want a TV, that's not an issue either. Right there are the hookups for that as well. Lastly, if you notice right up here, this does have a second AC in the bedroom. So on a hot day like today, you won't sweat to death. You can just go ahead and hit that guy and it'll be nice and cool. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Sprinter 353 fifth wheel den. That's a very unique floor plan. I really love it. Uh, great for entertaining. If you're the one that likes to have a lot of guests over, this is a perfect coach because you have that huge table where you can easily fit six people for a game or for some drinks. Same thing as the den. You have the uh, two trifold sofas with a theater seating. You can fit a lot of guests there. Residential refrigerator means you can bring a ton of food, big entertainment center, very usable and functional bathroom, especially with that one piece shower. The bedroom, you can see here, you have the slide out bed. This is just one you have to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. That way you'll be one of the first to see new and upcoming content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road.